Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it's o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And uh, people, I get letters upon letters upon letters. I didn't. I can't even like tell you all the letters that I get for asking me what does it mean when I say when I feel like it's o'clock. I'm looking for my pen pal. I need my pen because how do you get your point across if you don't have a pen? Uh, when I feel like it, that's my my uh, my life uh, philosophy. Do things when you feel like it. That's why I do this. When I feel like it, I felt like it, so I'm doing it. And I highly recommend it. Teach all the children that. You should teach that in school. Yeah, just do things when you feel like it. Of course, there would be no kids in the school, but uh, there were actually. You know what? I bet you, if you did that, people then the kids would go to school. It's because they have to that they don't go. And then the teachers would do things when they feel like it, the way they feel like it, and everybody would have fun. See? Also, I support pants for you living too. We'll get into that sometime. But um, I'm not wearing pants right now. Good example. And that, no, I'll get into it some other time. Okay. So tonight, it's about, uh, it's a very average night. It's a very average night. We had, if we're getting totals right, but not sides, uh, except for one awesome one where we had, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll t we're going to talk about all the picks we did in the land for tonight, or this is now the 31st, tomorrow's the first. We're going to talk about that. We're going to, of course, do our picks for tomorrow, or, or the first. We're going to do the picks for the first. We're going to do that. Uh, I I went over 700 subs last night. Yesterday, you guys are amazing. 700 subs, hit it. Dude named Brian. <laughs> That's all I know about him. His name is Brian. I'm gonna give you a free Perlocopter ride all around the land, sir. So you just comment down on the bottom and we'll come get you in the Perlocopter. Okay. So that's fantastic. I, I'm trying to hit a thousand. Let's go 750. Let's see if we can hit 750 today. If we hit a thousand in Utah tuber land, it's pretty big stuff. That's when you got start to make the scratch a Rooney. And uh, what else do you do? You can oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of things. I can start sending messages and it gives you a whole bunch of perks that you don't have until you hit a thousand. And it makes us all feel good inside in our insides. That's the main thing, right? It's all about how you feel good inside your insides, I say. Down there in your insides, you know where they are. Okay, so, okay, we got people sitting there going, okay, are we gonna do picks? Are we gonna do picks? How about not? How about not? How about not? I know, our very busy people out there that have so many of those things that people do to do other than hockey, which I don't really try try to avoid as much as possible, but maybe you don't, and you got lots of it. Here you go. This is but this is what this is all for you, because I like everybody, even the not likers, the people that hit the don't like button. You are amazing too. We love you, and yeah, for sure. Okay, Penguins ML over five and a half. Rangers in reg over six. Panthers in reg under five and a half. Capitals ML under five and a half. Lightning in reg under five and a half. Canadians in reg over five and a half. Hurricanes ML over five and a half. Dallas Stars ML and under five and a half. Vegas in reg under five and a half. And uh, yeah, that, that's going to be an interesting one. That, might, that one might change. That's why we go over to We had Patreon subscribers today. I had two come over. Woo! Woo! Awesome stuff. Uh, <laughs> but let me, I, I should have re, remembered their names. But anyways, you guys that... Don't only want the picks. You guys go now. You're free to leave. Take your uh, backpacks and 
head off into your other lands that you go to. Because we're going to talk about our picks today and how well we did, aren't we? Yes, we are. First of all, I'm going to find our... See, we had two new creators. Uh, two new people come on to this. Who were they? What were their names again? Uh... Ty and Daniel. Ty and Daniel came on. So let's get to, we'll go to the scores. They're not, the games aren't over yet. But we had, okay, this one's still going. We have the over for this game. But we, I had such, uh, this is one that bothers me because I had a feeling, I had a gut about the Kings. Now it's not over because the Golden Knights are like a crazy good third period team. They can just crush pe people in the third period. So you never know. We need three goals from the Golden Knights because we need it in reg. But we got the over. So um, I believe the over was equal. To, yeah, the over was equal to the in reg bet. So we're down a little bit. Uh, Wild versus Sharks. This one's going to hurt. Uh, we have the over here. Uh, and we have in reg, I believe, for large pearls. So that one hurts. Uh, the over was not for large pearls. Uh, let me see. I'll go to post here just to make sure. Published. Wild. Wild over sharks and reg for large, yeah, and over for five and a half. I mean, I suppose it could go over, but I'll tell you what they did is they uh, made the ice really bad. This ice is horrible. I'm going to remember this the next time San Jose plays a team like the Wild, which is a high-flying, not-too-big team. They seem to not take care of the ice as much as they normally would. And that really does not benefit a Wilds team. And they're getting, they're, it's, I doubt very much this will go over. Uh, I, the Sharks are out playing them, out shooting them. It's not looking good. Uh, so that would be, we made up for it a little bit though. Uh, the Jets, we had the under here for a decent sized pearls. And we had the Jets, uh, which was incorrect. So we're down just a tiny bit on that one. Flyers and Sabres, we had the flyer, we had the over for medium and the flyers for 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 one pearl. So we up we're up a little bit on that one. This one we crushed at. We had the Avalanche PL and the over for max pearls. We I love this play. So like you could five pearls on each. Uh, which made up for pretty much the rest of the day. And that's kind of what happens a lot. I get a little bit, uh, I, I break even on, mo on, on most plays, and then I'll crush on one. Uh, even made up for this one a little bit. So I'd say we're about even for the day, but we wouldn't have been if this wouldn't happen. Because this was my play of the day. The Flames versus the Canucks, that was my play of the day under. Under, under, under. That was going to be under all day long. Jeez, Vegas just about scored again. That was going to be under all day long. So uh, we would have had huge there. But it didn't happen. We broke even. No big deal. Still down for the week. I'm a little bit. <laughs> we've got, uh, what, two more days to go. But we're going to we're gonna go up. We're going to go up for sure. No doubt about it. I uh, had a tennis pick. Um, two tennis picks not come through today, so that we're down we're down on those two either to, as well. But tennis, I'm not worried about. I'll hit most tennis like crazy, so I'm not really too concerned about that. I've hit so much I started reaching a little bit sometimes, uh, maybe just a little too much. So I got to go back to playing my solid plays again. Um, okay, let's go to. Our games, okay. Boston and Pittsburgh, I am conflicted about this game. I've got the Penguins ML 
because Boston isn't playing very well. You just keep on thinking, like, Carlo came back, was his first game last game against New Jersey. Boston's having a tough time scoring. The Smith should be in net. I'm leaning. I have the over five and a half here, and it's mostly because Halak has been struggling. I think that's really the biggest problem for Boston right now. Um, Pittsburgh has just got some fantastic leadership there, and they just, it's amazing how they always seem to feel like they can win. Go over here to Bet Online. Look, you're getting 222 for Bet Online. That's pretty sweet. By the way, this thing that I use all the time, Pinnacle Five Dimes, highly recommend you go check it out. Sign yourself up for these bookies. Find yourself the best juice. 222 for Pittsburgh against a struggling Boston team. I got to go ML on that. I got it. You know, it's just for value alone. Rangers versus Buffalo. Buffalo, we saw 6 1 <laughs> over Philadelphia. There's going to be some changes there in Philadelphia. Um, I think Buffalo will be coming in with some confidence, but it is a back to back. Um, the Rangers come in hungry. And also having confidence, beating Washington last game. Everything, all things being said here, I, I think the Rangers just have to, will win this game. Shesterkin's going to be in net already. Um, I, I also like the over on six on, at six on this. So we're going to take the Rangers in reg. I, I want to go to PL here, but Allmark is like, Buffalo is a much different team with Allmark in. When I said he was coming back, I was going to go to Buffalo a lot more. But I'm, I'm just not going to on a back-to-back -back against uh, a, a solid Rangers team that's improving itself. So I'm taking the Rangers and Reg and the over. Uh, Detroit, Florida. I mean, Detroit could win this game, I guess. But uh, I, I got to keep on rolling with Florida. bobrovsky has been playing a lot better. The thing is, and this is what screwed me up last time, uh, I actually took Detroit PL last game because there's no Barkov, there's no Hornquist. And we all know what happened with Ekblad. And yeah, that's a lot of offense out of their lineup, but it doesn't seem to stop them. And it's just because of the energy they play with. They have an energy about them that they're out to destroy. And uh, you're going to win a lot of games that way, even if you have people hurt and stuff like that. I think they'll keep on doing that here. I'll take Florida. But I'm only, I am only only really want to go ML. I just have a feeling uh, oh, Grice is such a bad goaltender. That's the other problem, too. Now we'll go in reg. Florida in reg. Washington versus the Islanders. Now, the Washington lost to the Rangers last game. Uh, and I saw it coming. I picked the Rangers to win that game. Uh, they just seem to struggle with the Rangers on the road. I know that I know they, they have a tendency to like to have fun. And what better place to have fun uh, than in New, uh, in New York? Uh, against these uh, this an Islanders team here that's kind of shaken up a little bit. I think Washington will pull it out here though. I'm going to take Washington and Sam Sonoff's going to be at, in that instead of Vanacek too. Sam Sonoff is a, is a much better goaltender. I'm going to take the under here, though. Did I go the under on this one? Or did I go the over? Under five and a half, right? Okay, uh, Lightning, Columbus. I can't see the Lightning losing to Columbus twice. I just can't. Uh, oh, because McElhaney won't be in that, too. It's going to be Vasilevsky in that. Tampa outplayed them last time. They just can't win with McElhaney in the net. With Vasilevsky in the net, I'm going to take Tampa here. It'll probably be Merzlikens. And Merzlikens, it looked like he was back to his old self. I'm going to take Tampa and the under. Uh, Canadians versus the Ottawa Senators. Um, I'm going to go Montreal, but I'm only going to go ML. Try to get bet, go to bet online and get 153 on this. Um, just, just call it a gut feeling here. I, the Gu, Guber, uh, that kid uh, Gust, Gustafson, that Tampa Bay or that Ottawa looks like they're gonna play does look really good. 
Uh, Montreal has some shooters out like Toffoli, so they might have a little difficult time scoring here. Uh, what did we get for a total? Six. Under six. Under six. Yeah, that switched. That was five and a half. Now it's gone to six. Under six. Um, Carolina versus Chicago. I can't. Carolina completely outplayed Chicago last time. I got to keep on going with teams that are shooting, out shooting their opposition over and over and over again. Lankin is a fantastic goaltender. So is Nedeljkovic. Um, Probably an under here. Can Lankinen just keep on winning games all by himself? I suppose he can. But, I mean, I don't want to keep on betting on that. So I'm going to take uh, Carolina. And you're getting enough on the money line to just go money line on it, just in case Lankinen goes off again. But uh, they, Carolina's just out playing them, out everything them. they got to win eventually doing that. Uh Nashville versus Dallas. I'm going to slip over to Dallas here. I'm not going to put a lot on this. This is really a must-win game for them. Like, absolute must-win game. If they can't win this one, they're in trouble. Nashville's got a lot of players injured. Um, Sorrow should be a net and then Ottinger. Hey, I may change that tomorrow morning, but for now, I got Dallas. Minnesota versus Vegas. After this uh, game, after the loss here to L.A., which I think that's likely going to happen, it's 4-2 L.A. right now. Fortunately, we got the over. Um, I, I just can't see Vegas going now coming into Minnesota and losing that game. They're both on back-to-backs. Minnesota's game is completely predicated on speed. The, if they're going to be tired, they're going to be on the road. They got to go from. Uh, who the heck? San Jose to Vegas, which isn't that far, but it's still travel time. Vegas is home. So I'm going to give Vegas the advantage right now and uh, at home. Take them on the money line. No, I'm going to take them in reg. That'll give you about 180. And. Uh, I, yeah, I got under five and a half just because they're both tired and uh, they should have Talbot who's been hot in net. And uh, Laner, Laner should be, and Laner's a very good goaltender as well. So we're going to go under five and a half. That's my full 42 boys, boys and girls. Thank you very much for subscribing and all of that. It's amazing. I'm so happy. It makes it easier for me to come and do these every day. They are fun work, but they are work. It does take some time to do these things. And it re all the appreciation I get from you guys helps out an awful lot. It's much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow is, what, Thursday? I'll be doing it all over again, giving you all the picks, sides, and totals. And uh, I'll be doing my show, too. I do a show from 3 till 5, five Eastern, five days a week. It's a pick show. We all do our picks and uh, we have a whole bunch of people come on. We pick the, the score and who's going to win. And if you hit the score right, you get fabulous prizes, Perlo prizes that are a little bit imaginary, but they're still there. It's still prizes. And uh, we just frolic. There will be frolic. So come join us on this channel. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.